Hi, this is Javier Encinas. Welcome to another video of this series of uh, the ASDIP structural software uh, tutorials. This time we're going to cover uh, the design of a concrete cantilever retaining wall. Uh, we're going to design a wall completely from scratch, going through the step-by-step -step, uh, design process, so you can see exactly what to do using our, uh, uh, our software as the retain. This is the wall that we're going to design today. This is one of the examples included in, uh, included in our uh, website. Uh, basically, we have a, a wall, that, uh, you know, the, the complete height from the bottom of the foundation to the top of the stem, 18 feet. Uh, we have a surcharge of 100 PSF. Uh, the backfill is, is a good select material. Uh, the uh, angle of internal friction is 32, it's a, it's a good material. Uh, the density 100 PCF. The concrete 3000 PSI and uh, FY60. So uh, the goal is to design completely the, the, the wall. Uh, we need to design uh, all the dimensions, the thicknesses, and uh, the reinforcement. We need to check all the ratios, the stability, the strength, everything. So let's get started with that. We need to open our, uh, our software. Let's do that. Okay, this is as deep retain. We're gonna design a cantilever retaining wall. Uh, let's call this calculation example. It's added to the tree. Double click on that. So this is the calculation. These uh, these numbers over here are the default value. You know they don't mean anything to this example. We need to change them accordingly. We know that the full uh, height is 18. So we need to assume a uh, foot in thickness, 18 inches. So uh, 18 feet minus 1.6 is 16, 16, 6, 16, 16, 5. Okay. Uh, let's assume that it's uh, the same dimension at the top and, and the bottom, this uh, easier construction. Foot in thickness, we say that is uh, 18. And let's see how this looks. Uh, the loads, okay. We know from uh, from the example that the material is 100 PCF and the angle is 32. Let's see input that. 100 here. Saturated, let's say that saturated is 1, 110. Uh, internal friction, 32 and we don't have any water table, so zero. Okay. So it's more or less like, like that. The backfill height is up to the top. You know, we can see that here. The backfill is up to the top of the stem. Let's input that as well. If the stem is 16, 16, 5, the backfill height is the same, 16, 5. And the slope is flat, so zero, zero degrees. Let's say that the soil cover is just one foot, something like that. Yeah, more or less like that. Okay, so we have input the loads already, uh, the source charge. We have the, the uniform is 100 PSF. We don't have any other load. We don't have a, a, a wind or seismic or a, or a concentrator or anything like that. So the rest of the loads are zero. No concentrated, no wind, no seismic. Just a surcharge like that. And the backfill. The backfill, let's assume that is the ranking. Ranking uh, 32. Yeah. Okay. This is our our our, uh, our example. So we need to start checking all these numbers to uh, optimize all these dimensions, the footing and the stem. Let's get started. Here we uh, can see immediately that we have a sliding safety factor problem. It's too low, so we need to increase the the the, the sliding. Uh, the key is only 12 inches deep. We need to increase it. Let's say 24. That solved the issue with the sliding. Is okay. Uh, 
Overturning is uh, is not optimized. We can we, we could improve it. It's 2.0 more than 150, so we could reduce the toe. Let's see. Good. Okay. Uh, now we can see a problem here. NS means means no solution. NS indicates no solution here. That means that uh, the dimensions are not adequate. So it's, the, the program cannot calculate uh, internally uh, the numbers. The math is not possible because it's probably a negative uh, 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 square root. That means that is, uh, the dimensions are inadequate. So we need to increase a little bit the, the hill, for example, to six. Yeah, that solves the issue here. So this is a good uh, combination. Three in the toe, six at the, at the heel. Graphically, it looks like that, which looks looks OK. Uh, let's see the materials. The materials are 3,000. The, the concrete is 3,000. So we need to go to the materials here and change it to 3,000, not, not to four, three, and three. And we can see here again that uh, the allowable bearing pressure is 5,000. We need to input that as well. The materials here, five. And we are done with the input. Okay. You know, this uh, reduced uh, concrete strength uh, affected the shear capacity, obviously. Here we have a problem in, in the stem. The stem is too thin. We have a problem with the shear capacity. We need to increase the thickness, maybe to 14 and, and, uh, and 14. Uh, yeah, that solves the issue. Uh, in the heel, we have also a problem. We need to increase the, the footing thickness. The footing, the footing thickness. Here, instead of 18, let's see. 20 no it's still still short we need to go thicker maybe 22 no we need to go even further 24 okay 24 so if the thickness is 24 and the full height is 18 feet minus 2 feet here you know the stem is 16 so we need to input we need to correct that instead of 16 5 it's, it's only 16. so this is our wall and looks like that this is our wall okay need to go to the optimization process mm. yeah the ratios are okay uh the thicknesses looks uh, look okay for example, if we reduce the, the, the toe a little bit, maybe two, yeah, two is okay. We reduce a little bit the overturning and it's still okay, the solution. So this is a good uh, combination, two and six for the, for the toe and the stem. Okay, the stability is, is perfect. 190 versus 150 is okay, Sli uh, the sliding is 82 versus 50, perfect. The soil bearing pressures, the maximum is five. Yeah, the, the allowable is five and the maximum at the toe is 4.8. So we are close, but still under. So we are, this is okay. This is okay. Let's see graphically here. Looks like this. Uh, for eight. Yeah. Okay, so we need to optimize the, the rebars here. Let's go to the reinforcement tab. First, the stem. Okay, the stem is overloaded. This, uh, uh, the rebars are not adequate right now. You, you know, the ratio is 154. We need to increase the either more rebars or, or increasing the thickness of the stem. Uh, we have right now number eight at 12. Maybe we can eight at eight still 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 high so eight at seven 
yeah, we are okay. Or we can increase a little bit the thickness. Instead of 14, maybe 15. One more inch. That helps. Let's go to 8 at 8. Yeah, 0.97. So the stem is perfect here. The development le length is, is okay. And the minimum steel area is okay. So the stem is fine. We Let's go to the to the toe. The toe is probably you know we we can optimize a little bit. The number six at eight is, is probably too much. We need to six at twelve. Or well, the minimum steel area is is failing. So number six at ten. Yeah, just like that. Uh, the development length is okay and the minimum steel area is okay so we can leave it at six at a ten the heel we need more uh, more steel so number six at eight yeah perfect the development length is okay but the minimum steel area is is, is short so we need to increase it even more six at uh, maybe six at, at six or maybe we can increase this, the size of the rebar. Number maybe number eight. At the development length is failing, so it's better not to use larger bars. Maybe uh, maybe keep keep number sixes at six. Maybe at seven. Let me see. No, it fails at six. It's okay. So. With this combination of uh, thicknesses and, uh, and rebars and spacings, we are com complying with uh, all the code requirements. Everything is okay. Uh, the program shows what combination is controlling. For the stem, this is the combination that controls. For the toe, this one. And for the heel, this one, obviously. So we are passing everything in this uh, uh, at a glance uh, view. Let's go to uh, to the condense view. Uh, this shows all the calculations, but when you know a little bit more detailed, uh, the geometry, apply loads, the backfill properties here, the soil is okay. So we are in 4.7 versus 5, we are okay. In the overturning, this is the overturning calculations uh, uh, report. Uh, you can see the overturning moment. Uh, and the resisting moments, so uh, the safety factor is 1.94, it's, it's perfect, it's, it's okay. The stem design, you can see all the moments, uh, every tenth of, of the height. The sliding is 184, 50, perfect, so we, need, we don't need to uh, Optimize anything is, is perfect. And the heel, you can see the moment. The shear is perfect. The toe, same thing. Graphically, well, if you go to the detail tab, you can see the same calculation that we saw before, but even more detail with the exposed calculation, is exposed formulas, and also with reference to, to, the, to the ACI code that applies. So you can follow every single calculations that the program does internally. You can follow here what uh, was done and check everything, granular checking for, for every single step. Graphically, you can see in the stability tab, you can see here uh, all the pressure that were applied to the wall, uh, the source charge that we included here, the source charge. This is the diagram of the source charge. The backfill, which is included here. This is the diagram. We didn't include any seismic or any wind in this, in this uh, calculation. The passive pressure, the resulting here, here, and this is the bearing pressure. At the bottom, we can see the forces uh, that affect the uh, stability of, of, of this wall. You can see the passive, you can see the friction, the reaction, the eccentricity, horizontal reaction, vertical reaction, everything here, and the corresponding safety factors. Everything passes. You know, it's, it's a very, very good design, very, very effective, very, uh, very efficient, uh, optimized, 
and you can see it by a uh, load combination or you can see the envelope that uh, considers everything if you go to the stem well we can see here what we did here in the stem we select the number eight at eight and this moment diagram shows you know this red line shows the moment diagram along along the uh, the stem and the blue shaded area represents uh, the structural capacity of, of, of the stem this step here means that we selected to cut off alternate bars and the cutoff occurs at seven feet if, if we eliminate this no, no cut off alternate bars you know every, every single bar goes all the way up then you, you don't see this uh, this uh, step graphically you can see all the rebars go all the way up if you cut off alternate bars you know the reason of these uh, cutting alternate bars is to optimize uh, the rebars right we, we don't need all these additional extra capacity here we don't need all these extra capacity so we can cut off some rebars and we are still still okay following uh, the shape of the moment diagram uh, this is a shear diagram uh, since our stem you know is prismatic uh, the same thickness at the bottom and at the top uh, the, sh the shear capacity is is, is constant the same thickness so we are okay with the with the stem and the construction view looks looks like that so we are showing uh, the selected uh, rebars and spacing for 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 the stem um, and for uh, for the foundation as well and this is a section view and elevation view so this design is is it's a pretty good pretty good design uh, optimized maybe we can optimize it a little bit reducing probably probably the, the toe six inches more or the heel six inches more or, or maybe reducing a little bit the, the the stem thickness and increasing the rebars and so on the idea is that you can play with the numbers you can optimize you can manipulate all this information all this data and you can you know get a a very optimized design to your complete satisfaction one uh, once your design is done you just can uh, print preview the report the condensed report here this is a print preview of the of the report uh, the, the condensed report you can just print out all this stuff you can you know all these pages as you can see they are pre-formatted you can see you can print out all this and, and show it to your clients to your to your checker to your uh, uh, building department to the person who is interested on this or just keep it to the, for your record so this is very very handy or you can re report the uh, the detailed report with all the formulas and, and, and all that like this all the formulas uh, and the code references all the calculations step by step so everything is there exposed so you can check every single calculation nothing nothing to worry about or where where the numbers came from or anything like that so with this we, we complete this uh, video thank you very much for your attention and we'll see you in the next video of this series thank you very much